Hello everyone. We will deliver the news that became a hot topic on July 11, 2023. Fox News regular who accused Hunter Biden of having nefarious ties to China is now being charged with having nefarious ties to China. Insider Gal Luft, who fled custody after being arrested in Cyprus, says the indictment against him seeks to cover up his claims of the Biden family's corruption. Below are your comments. The GOP claimed that a whistleblower had disappeared. Now we find out that a whistleblower has skipped town while on bail. I wonder if they are the same person. Next news. Homeless man found living in underground vault in Los Angeles Little Tokyo. Next shark. A homeless man was recently arrested after being found living in an underground utility vault in Los Angeles Little Tokyo last week. The discovery. The vault is located next to the Japanese American National Museum, JANM, on Alameda Street. Security guards first noticed the man on the night of July 3 carrying multiple bags into the vault. According to JANM CFO Doug Van Kirk, below are your comments. I worked in the ballroom of the Beverly Wilshire Hotel for many years and we found homeless people living in the ceiling above the ballroom on more than one occasion. Housing is too expensive in the city. People have to get creative these days even if it is underground. Take one-tenth of our military budget which is larger than the rest of worlds combined and build housing that is either free or affordable for those struggling. We are supposed to be the best country in the world so that would be a start. Want to add a little American touch? Have big companies lick. He shouldn't have resisted arrest. The trespass charge is nothing. The rules for zero bail. He will be released immediately and then go find another new utility vault and set up shop again. Next news. It's pretty clear, they know exactly whose cocaine it was, Monica Crowley. Fox News videos. Podcast host Monica Crowley calls Biden administration officials serial liars after White House. Press Secretary Karine Jean Pierre said the family was not in the White House on the Friday before cocaine was found. Below are your comments. The White House is probably the most secure building besides Fort Knox in the nation, it also has. The best video equipment so the answer to finding the culprit is very simple show us we the people. The video of the secret service agent finding the cocaine then reverse the video until we the people ca. Crowley is absolutely right on every level. They know exactly whose cocaine this is. It's obviously hunters. Joe knows it. Jill knows it. The administration knows it. The Democrats know it. Hunter is a heavy cocaine addict and everyone knows it. He was thrown out of the service because they found H. I just wonder who in the White House has been to rehab five times over the years and still has the habit. Not mentioning any names but his initials are Hunter Biden. Clearly the White House has like no security or cameras, so we can't figure it out. H underscore N-T-E-R, can I buy a vowel? Next news. Kremlin says Putin held post-mutiny talks with Wagner leader as top general resurfaces. Reuters. President Vladimir Putin held Kremlin talks with Wagner mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigozhin days. After denouncing an armed mutiny he had led as treasonous. Putin's spokesman said on Monday. As Russia's top general resurfaced for the first time. The meeting with Prigozhin. According to Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov, was held on June 29, five days after the aborted mutiny, which is widely regarded to have posed the most serious challenge to Putin since he assumed the presidency on the last day of 1999. One of the biggest mysteries is why Prigozhin does not yet appear to have fulfilled the terms of the deal which ended the standoff, what his future plans and those of his fighters are and why he does not appear to have been punished by the Kremlin. Below are your comments. They were each made to write and submit on paper. I will always obey President Putin. A thousand times.
It reflects bad leadership by Putin for not being meeting with them before Wagner Group felt so angry they felt compelled to mutiny. Russia is the land of absolute bullshit. This chaos is the most convincing indicator yet of Russia losing its self-inflicted war. Looks like General Sergei Surovikin is the only victim of the purge. Shigu and Gerasimov were retained. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.